Guys and welcome back to my journeyman story. As you see, well, you can't, but we come now to the end of February, and let's take you through the fixtures. First game was against Pont Feridina, and he won 4-3. Goals from Fede Vinco, Pedro, and two from Javier Patino, giving us the three points. We then played. Hercules, or I don't know, it's not Hercules, is it, surely? I don't know. And as you can see, guys, we won 1 0. Uh, Manu Torres getting the goal for us. Then we took on Las Palmas, and my uh, home site winning streak after two games came to an abrupt end with a thumping of a defeat from 4 1. Then we played Xuris, and we hit back after that big defeat with a big win, 4 2. Then played Sporting and we grinded out a 1 0 goal from a uh, goal from Gaspar, central defender. Then we played Huesca and we lost 3 2. Uh, goals from Gaspar and I'm guessing the other one was an own goal. <coughs> we then played Recativo and it was another defeat of 1 0. What's happening? Ah! Go away! Sorry about this, guys. As you can see, I'm still trying to get used to the can't click on the actual scores process here. It won't take long now. So, yeah, uh, I'll give you a. Uh, come on. Right, so. Uh, Recativo, we lost 1 0. We then played Mirandes and we won 4 3. Vincenzo Ronella getting a hat trick. Carlos Cabarello getting one. And as you can see there, guys, we went down to 10 men. We then played Numancia and we got a draw 1 1. Uh, Fed Vinco getting our goal. We then played Murcia and Carlos Caballero getting the goal for us. We then played Racing Santander and we lost 1 0. They played Lugo and we went 4 2. Jocelo coming off the bench to grab a hat trick and Vincenzo Ronella getting one for us. We then played Elki and we won, uh, drew 1 1. Uh, Jocelo getting the goal there again. Al Coracon and we drew 1 1. Uh, Jocelo getting the goal again. And then we played Girona and we lost 3 0. So, a very poor start guys and as you can see it's affected our position on the table okay I took over when we were 21st uh, I've got us up to 17th five points clear still not good enough and uh, we've got a couple of injuries but they're not really affecting us but we just haven't had the luck and uh, it could show in the fixtures there uh, I'll show you this quickly, guys. We've got two players leaving Pepe Diaz and Miguel Angel Tena, who are going to end the season. Uh, we've got a massive problem with finances, and I don't quite know why because our wage budget I'm under by 10 grand as well, so it's a bit confusing. And as you look at over here, guys, the board confidence in me is very poor, so the club structure is 50%, the competitions is 32 Wages 62, squad harmony 52, and ball promises of 50. Um, so yeah, it's a bit annoying, and I think that's mainly the competition was due to the league performances. Uh, yeah, it's been very disappointing. We haven't signed anyone, and that's mainly because we haven't come across a decent player, or we've struggled financially, but we've let Bernardo and Miguel Cesar go for a total of 230 grand oh, we bought him apparently at the start of the season uh, my job is very insecure not a surprise um, so guys very shaky start be interesting to see how long I last now this club I've spoken to the board and, and asked them uh, to give me more time uh, hopefully they will but you know what the board are like these days not very good and let's have a look at this That's where the problem is, I think, with our money. We're losing eight, we're in debt by £8.5 million, pound, which obviously is paying back slowly. 
So yeah, uh, we've got Villarreal next and we've got Barcelona B. It should be very interesting. Uh, I was hoping to secure league football for another season, but it looks like I'm going to have to work extremely hard for that. At one stage, guys, in this, when just before we went into a run of drawing, we were within touching distance of playoffs, but that's now gone and evaporated. So, uh, it's just going to be a long, hard season of staying up. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I uh, hope you leave a comment or some feedback would be great. Thank you.